Okay, here, again, working with some of our heavier patients, not necessarily need to be heavier. Also, when we're working with anything around the pelvis, I see this in a lot of bodybuilders, where there's not a lot of uh, excess adipose tissue. We're dealing with large uh, gluteal girdles, pelvic girdles. So you can use this in, in a lot of muscle mass or in general where you have more size. So what I use here is the 75 millimeter needle and I'll go to my landmarking. Again, uh, what I find is the uh, S4 region and I come across five inches. And again, this is in the motor point manual found at acupuncturemotorpoints.com. And I insert, and again, with someone of this size, I need to insert all the way. There is no um, compromise there. Then what I'm doing here is compressing the tissue so I can get a contraction. You can see that the entire gluteal uh, mass will be moving all the way down to its attachment points along the sacrum. And you can see that, especially in through here near the PSIS. If I don't ground the patient, okay, I'm not gonna get, a, I'm gonna get a little bit of movement, but I'm grounding with my hand, but you wanna depress the tissue. My point here is that if our landmarking through our motor point selection is very good, then there's very little we need to do in terms of changing the size of the needle. We don't need a 125 millimeter needle. What we can do with a 75 millimeter needle. You can see that. Again, any questions, xstore at usa.com or visit us at www.acupuncturemotorpoints.com.